Hello. Welcome to On the Green with Alan. This month, Gallaudet University signed two international agreements. The agreements focus on promoting opportunities for higher education for deaf and hard of hearing people who live in other countries. We will be establishing methods for international students to attend Gallaudet. And we want Gallaudet students and faculty to study and teach in other countries. Our first agreement is with Panama. The ambassador from Panama joined me in signing the agreement at a ceremony on campus. Gallaudet Latin American students, faculty, and staff also attended the ceremony. The agreement establishes an academic alliance with Panama. The alliance leads to establishing a Gallaudet University Center in Panama. This center will offer educational services to deaf and hard of hearing people in Latin America. For example, it will teach English to students in Panama. The second agreement is with Beijing Union University in China. I traveled to Beijing to attend a ceremony to celebrate this agreement. This agreement is a historic academic and educational collaboration between the two universities. There will be student exchange programs, transfer study programs, and visiting faculty programs. An English language institute will be established in China. The new institute will help prepare Chinese deaf and hard of hearing students to study at Gallaudet. We are proud to make these connections with international partners and to make higher education a reality for more deaf people worldwide. In early October, Meter reports suggested that the Gallaudet name on our local metro station might be eliminated. Currently, the station is named New York Avenue, Florida Avenue, Gallaudet U. When students learned that the Gallaudet name might be eliminated, they organized a petition drive to keep our name on the metro station. SBG President Dylan Hinks led the effort and collected more than 1,100 signatures. Several members of the campus community represented the university at a public hearing to consider changing the name. On November 3rd, students claimed victory when the Metro's governing board voted to keep our name. The new shorter name will be Noma Gallaudet. Noma stands for North of Massachusetts, an area on the other side of the metro stop. Congratulations to all of the students, faculty, and staff for your efforts to keep the Gallaudet name on the metro station. This success is an example of what we can accomplish as a community when we all work together. Last year, MTV University filmed four Gallaudet students in the week before homecoming, 2010. MTV University is broadcast on university TV stations all across the country. MTV University's show about Gallaudet is titled, Quiet Campus. MTV University premiered the show on Gallaudet campus in October. Students at the premiere gave the show enthusiastic applause. After the premiere, students who participated in the show and the producers of the show took questions from the audience. It was a fun evening and very exciting to see Gallaudet students receive national attention. 
In November, the show was broadcast in a four-part weekly series. All four segments are now available online. Visit this website to view the show. Finally, congratulations to the Bison women's volleyball team for an amazing season. They finished the season by winning the 2011 Northeastern Athletic Conference Championship. Congratulations. Thank you for watching On the Green with Allen.